en coup de temps. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The before the uh, chamber hands the floor to the defense team. La parole va être to donnée to à la défense. La Vange, mais avant cela, le juge Lavergne a la parole pour interroger ce témoin. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Bonjour, President. Monsieur Fanchen. J'ai quelques questions à vous poser Mr. pour uh, clarifier certaines de vos réponses. Tout d'abord, est-ce euh, que vous pouvez nous dire si First dans all, le secteur où vous étiez, il y avait des personnes d'origine vietnamienne there were people of Vietnamese origin. In my uh, previous statement, in the commune where I lived, uh, there were no uh, Vietnamese. Où je vivais, il n there pas was de Vietnamese. only one Vietnamese woman il avait only, une Vietnamienne. and no one else of that ethnicity. Et c'est tout. Et Avez-vous... Alors, la commune, c'était la commune de Kous. De commune. Et est-ce que vous avez... Est-ce que vous pouvez me Kous. confirmer que c'était la commune de Kous Et est-ce que vous pouvez can nous dire ce qu'il est advenu de la Vietnamienne And qui habitait sur cette commune what became of the Vietnamese who lived in that commune Bart Kom, non que Kom Kou. Yes, the, it was the oui. Kou commune. c'était la commune de Kou. Under the uh, local administration, and as I learned uh, through the uh, Vietnamese who came to uh, lived in Je commune, venus vivre dans cette commune de I was told Vietnamese were put into uh, one concrete house, and Vietnamiens there were many Vietnamese, en and then they were uh, shot at, and many of them killed. Ensuite, on leur a tiré dessus et beaucoup sont morts. Des gens ont pris There la fuite three, pour vivre uh, dans la commune de Kouk. Il y avait là boy, trois filles et un garçon accompagnés de leurs parents arrivés so à la commune de Kouk quand j'étais le chef. Et j'ai donc décidé de m'occuper d'eux. Quant à la vieille vietnamienne, son nom m'échappe, mais elle est encore en vie. Donc, pour être sûr d'avoir bien compris, vous nous avez fait sure état de ce que les Vietnamiens avaient été victimes de euh, meurtres, de violences de la part de soldats, et qui étaient des soldats de l'ONOL. Est-ce bien le cas Effectivement. Because my adopted child lived with me. Mon enfant adopté vivait avec moi. Till later on, I married her. I arranged the marriage for him and Ensuite, his parents all passed away. Ensuite, je l'ai marié. Ses parents biologiques étaient décédés. Alors, on va essayer de clarifier un petit peu tout ça. Euh, vous avez fait état de Vietnamiens qui a été victime de soldats de l'ONU. Vous avez fait état de Vietnamiens qui se sont réfugiés chez vous, sur votre commune. Combien de Vietnamiens se sont réfugiés sur la commune dont vous étiez le chef As I stated, uh, there was Comme one dit, Vietnamese family, il y avait une and I do not recall the name of that Vietnamese old woman, je ne me souviens pas du nom including de cette the three Vietnamienne, children. And in fact, I adopted the, the three children, and they are still living today. Que j'ai adopté et qui sont encore en vie aujourd'hui. Vous avez combien d'enfants biologiques et combien d'enfants adoptés 
How many biological children did you have? And how many adopted children did you have? I only have one uh, blood child. Je n'ai qu'un However, I have several adopted children. Mais j'ai plusieurs enfants adoptés. Et donc, parmi ces enfants adoptés, il y a so une enfant vietnamienne. C'est bien ce qu'on doit comprendre. You adopted, ou plusieurs enfants vietnamiens. One Je ne sais Vietnamese pas très child or several Vietnamese children, depending on what you. Quant à l'enfant vietnamien adopté, c'est une fille qui est encore en vie à Takeo. Et cette fille, tout le monde savait qu'elle était d'origine vietnamienne est-ce qu'elle a eu des problèmes pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique Et est-ce qu'elle a eu des problèmes pendant le régime démocratique du Kampuchea régime En réalité, dans l'ancienne commune, personne ne l'a critiqué. discrimination against her. We all went along ne well at the time, and it still continues to be well until today. Nous nous entendions tous bien, et c'est encore le cas aujourd'hui. Donc, voulez-vous dire, monsieur, que le fait d'être vietnamien then, sir, dans, la, dans le district de Trangkak pendant le Kampuchea démocratique n'était pas un Trump problème Kac. District, Tout le monde s'entendait. C'était le grand amour entre Everyone lived les euh, Khmer Rouge d'un côté et euh, les personnes d'origine vietnamienne de l'autre. C'est ce que nous devons comprendre. Loved one another. Is that what you are telling us? Je peux parler seulement de ce qui s'est passé dans ma commune. Monsieur Fanchen, vous avez eu l'occasion de vous déplacer à de nombreuses reprises. Vous avez accueilli des réfugiés qui venaient de plusieurs régions, c'est ce que vous avez dit. Vous n'êtes au courant que ce qui s'est passé dans votre commune, vous êtes au courant de ce qui s'est passé dans le district, voire dans les régions avoisinantes. Once I became a member of the refugee Quand committee, I was aware more than when I was uh, at the, the commune. commune. Et alors, qu'avez-vous appris en ce qui concerne les Vietnamiens In that case, what did you hear regarding the Vietnamese As for the uh, Vietnamese, During uh, the time, there were no other uh, Vietnamese uh, people il avait pas except uh, my Vietnamien adopted uh, children. À part mes enfants adoptés. Bien, on va passer à notre, well. notre, question, notre série de questions. Je n'ai pas compris, monsieur, vos explications concernant les 40 personnes qui ont été libérées. J'ai cru comprendre qu'il y avait deux groupes de 40 personnes. Un groupe de 40 personnes qui faisait partie d'un groupe plus large, qui était celui des personnes réfugiées, dont vous aviez la charge parce que vous deviez leur trouver un logement. Were under your jurisdiction. Et puis j'ai compris qu'il y avait un autre groupe de 40 personnes qui étaient 40 personnes qui avaient été libérées du centre de Krangtanshan. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ou est-ce que j'ai mal compris Est-ce que vous m'expliquez s'il y a un ou deux groupes Je ne sais pas si vous avez bien compris ou est-ce que j'ai mal compris. Est-ce que vous m'expliquez s'il y a un ou deux groupes Yes, I have stated, Comme je l'ai déjà dit, 
Those people were arrested from the cooperative Ces gens avaient été arrêtés dans les coopératives et m'avaient été envoyés. Ces gens, c'était des réfugiés. Et cela s'est passé transfer. avant And at that mon time, transfert. I was a member à l'époque, uh, j'étais membre du committee. comité des réfugiés. And while I was at uh, transferred to the new place, Quand j'étais transféré au nouvel endroit, j'ai accueilli 40 who were anciens released from prisonniers qui avaient été And relâchés de Krang Tachan et j'ai été chargé d'organiser leur logement. And so I got them all around and Je les ai uh, réunis clear the land and to, to provide them with accommodation. les terres et leur fournir un logement. Alors, on va commencer par parler des 40 personnes arrêtées dans les coopératives qui avaient décidé de leur arrestation. Qui It happened at the uh, commune, and uh, the commune Ça, sent them through au niveau de la commune. me to, la commune to keep them provisionally before que je les garde they made a court avant the qu'un rapport district. ne soit établi à l'intention du district. And there was no uh, clear line of uh, instruction Il n'y avait pas and then we held a meeting amongst our uh, committee members and we Les decided to release them. Les membres du comité se sont réunis et ont décidé de relâcher ces gens. Quel membre de la commune avait décidé de leur arrestation Which et de quelle of commune The commune decided that they be arrested and that person was from which commune? It happened in Tramcourt district Il and there were district several communes and Tramcourt district and I did not know from which commune or village those people had been arrested. Ces gens so they were ils all été sent through the commune office. Envoyés au bureau de la and later on, as I said, we decided dit, to release tard, them. Nous avons décidé de les remettre en liberté. Donc, ils sont envoyés au bureau de la commune. So Est-ce que ce bureau était une office. prison? And was that commune office a prison? No, it was the office, not no. a prison. C'était un bureau et pas une prison. Alors, pourquoi ont-ils été envoyés à ce bureau Je ne comprends pas. Et quelle était leur case, destination normale Où devaient-ils être What envoyés Quand vous avez reçu ces personnes, où devaient-elles être envoyées I think there is a, a misunderstanding here. Those people were sent from the cooperative and the destination was to be sent to the district. However, there was no report uh, yet to the district. Aucun For that reason, they sent those people to us temporarily because we were part of this uh, refugee uh, committee. De ce comité des réfugiés. So they were sent to us Donc, because they were accused of uh, contradiction or minor conflicts, des as I stated previously. And the report was not yet forwarded to the district about these 40 people, and that's why they were sent to us. Raison pour laquelle elles nous ont été envoyées. And in fact, uh, prisoners en réalité, were all those people who were arrested were not intended to, to be sent to any commune. It was meant for the district. Ces gens étaient destinés au district. Bien, monsieur, de deux choses. Very well. Ou vous libérez des There personnes qui sont points. arrêtées, Either ou vous occupez de réfugiés qui sont libres arrested, de leur mouvement. S'agissait de personnes arrêtées ou de personnes simplement réfugiées. Now, were these persons who were arrested or ordinary refugees? It is uh, rather complicated. C'est assez compliqué. I 
did not have the authority Moi, to make any arrest or to release any detainee. Des gens ou de relâcher des prisonniers. However, as part of the refugee committee, dans le cadre and du comité to me, des it was unreasonable for them to be arrested. Il que leur so pas, I leur arrestation took my pas own discretion or initiative to release them, de as ces gens. I considered them the war displaced people, although they were sent to us Même temporarily, si ces gens nous été temporarily before they were to us possibly sent 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 to us possibly district and at that time because there was no explicit instruction and I took my decision to release them j'ai donc pris la décision de les relâcher monsieur pour prendre une telle décision je suppose que vous avez dû passer Sir, beaucoup de temps to take et beaucoup such de temps à interroger ces personnes à les interroger pour savoir ce qu'elles ont fait ce dont elles étaient accusées est-ce que toutes les personnes qui étaient arrêtées ont été libérées Regarding ou est-ce que simplement certaines d'entre elles ont été libérées Celles dont vous pensiez que les erreurs Those étaient des erreurs mineures that you considered to have committed minor errors. Comment ça s'est passé How did you go about that? Reiterated, à nouveau, those people were accused by the cooperative and they were sent to uh, the commune. Ils ont été and uh, à la the commune. commune, we did not have any detention place. Chez they nous, were placed il into uh, de one location. Ces gens ont été placés dans un endroit. And let me tell you, if those people had been sent to si the detention center, then I would not have any authority là, to release them, despite the fact that I pitied them. I would not be able to do so. Pitié deux, je pas pu les mettre en liberté. However, they were étant, not uh, anywhere near the detention place. Ces gens n'étaient pas à proximité d'un centre de détention. Combien de temps avez-vous passé à interroger ces How personnes pour savoir de quoi elles étaient accusées In interrogating those persons to know what they were accused of. There were three of us. Nous étions trois. And we worked as a group. Nous travaillions en groupe. In fact, uh, we did not uh, question Nous them. Pas ces gens. We just asked them Nous leur for the reasons that they were sent to uh, that location été and sur place. They, they told us, and I already stated uh, before the court that they were accused of a minor conflict, dit, of a conflict about the private uh, Ownership, par rapport à la propriété privée, etc. And this uh, issue of private ownership uh, was rather complicated. Cette question de propriété privée était assez compliquée. Vous aviez donc, Monsieur Fanchen, ou vous pensiez avoir l'autorité suffisante. You therefore thought you had sufficient authority pour not des to comply qui ces gens au instructions that were given to you que bien from the district. Is that the case? Yum. It was my understanding that in my capacity Je as a, a member of a refugee committee, I did not have that réfugiés, authority. Je pas ce I knew it. Je le And of course, I did not want to Bien step entendu, over uh, somebody else's toe. Empiété sur les plates-bandes d'autrui. Comme je l'ai dit à maintes reprises, my pity, 
J'avais pitié de ces gens. Over. Et c'est cette pitié qui a pris le dessus. Et c'est pour cela que j'ai agi comme je l'ai fait. But I did not have any Mais je n'ai pas eu autorité factuelle that is on the ou légale of those pour relâcher ces gens. My capacity and my authority was only to make arrangements for them to, to, to stay in and to provide them with food. And to provide them with food. Those refugees were not supposed to be sent to the detention centre. No, they were not. 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 Uh, they were sent to us, and for those people who were sent to the detention center by the district or by any other level, that's beyond my uh, capacity. And because they were sent to us, and dépasse, we did not have uh, enough housing for them, we placed them temporarily in a pagoda. More than cool. And of course, they were not uh, accused of any serious Ils offense, as they were sent to us uh, with their own belongings, grave, with their own cattle, puisqu'ils nous avaient envoyés uh, avec leurs effets personnels, leur bétail, avec leurs charrettes à bœufs, etc., etc. And that's all, Your Honor. Voilà tout ce que j'ai à dire. Bien, Monsieur, donc, euh, je well. comprends que vous avez été saisi de pitié en voyant ces gens-là. So, Est-ce que c'est la même moved. pitié? que vous avez eu when you saw à l'égard de Soy Sen. Did you feel the same pity when you saw Soy Sen? Um, yes, that is true. Effectivement. I pitied him. Je l'ai pris en pitié. Et vous avez eu pitié de quoi exactement? Why did you pity him? I started yesterday. That while I was at the Cook commune, he was a young boy. When I was at the commune of Cook, he was a young boy. And he lives not far from me. He lived close to me. And for that reason, I I pitied him. He was just an innocent young boy. Because he was a young innocent boy. And that's why I requested to. Help him. C'est pour cela que j'ai voulu l'aider. Et que risquait-il? Qu'est-ce qu'il risquait? What risk did he run? You mean about those people that I released? Vous parlez des gens que j'ai relâchés? And if that is the case, I already stated before the court. Le cas, déjà the district and the sector were not happy with what le I did, and they wanted to have me killed. The district was not happy with my actions, and they wanted to have me killed. Je ne parle, je ne parle pas de vous, monsieur. Je parle I de Soy Sen. Qu'est-ce qu'il risquait? Qu'est-ce qui risquait de lui arriver? What risk would he have incurred? What would have happened to him otherwise? I came from Preikadoi, that is from Kampong Spu province, to my house. He was there near the detention place. And I did not know why he was sent to the detention place, and I, I took a particular notice of him because I had known him before. Parce que je le connaissais déjà. Monsieur, vous n'avez pas répondu à ma question. Qu'est-ce que Soy Sen risquait? Question: What risk did Soy Sen run? What risk was he exposed to? 
If I were not to request for him si while he was at the detention center and because he was young and if he did not receive enough food, he might uh, fall sick and it might be the end of his life. Et il aurait pu mourir. Il y avait beaucoup de gens qui mouraient à Krak Tanchan. Were there many people dying at Krak Tanchan? But at that day, I was not aware of that. Je n'en savais rien. Alors pourquoi aviez-vous peur pour Soi Sen so why were you si vous ne saviez pas uh, ce qui se passait? Sen, if you didn't know what was happening. Because he was a, a young boy and uh, with insufficient jeune. food, or if he misbehaved, you could imagine what would happen to manger, him. Si he could risk his life. And that was my personal understanding. Ainsi que je les choses. Quand vous avez été entendu when par you were questioned, les, euh, by the investigators vous avez expliqué que of the OCIJ, you said that you 79, arrived between 75 and 79, au centre or de correction, Krang that sometimes you would visit the Krang Tachang Center Et between avez 75 que vous and 79, des amis. and you said that you went to visit friends. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous confirmer que vous alliez rendre visite à des amis quand vous faisiez halte à Krang Tanchan. When you would stop at Krang Tachang. When I went to uh, my house, I spent a, a short uh, visit to Krang Tachang just to uh, say hello. And uh, it was kind of a routine when I rode my bicycle to visit uh, my, my house, then I would uh, drop by. And that's what I uh, said in my previous statement. But I did not pay particular attention to uh, the center itself or to know the details of what was happening in the center. I was not uh, based in my village as I stated uh, previously. Vous avez dit également que vous veniez pour savoir qui était détenu et qui travaillait à Krang Tachang. Est-ce que vous Can you confirm this? Answer, no, that is not correct. Est-ce que vous savez si des gens sont morts à Krang Tachang? Do you know if people died at Krang Tachang? Answer, I did not know. Vous avez expliqué que dans you explained le, pour le parti, le parti communiste du Kampuchea, il y avait différentes classes. That there were different classes in the eyes of the communist party of pas forcément à la classe qui permettait d'accéder aux plus hautes and that you fonctions. Do not necessarily belong to the class that would allow you d'avoir dit ça et est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer reach pourquoi? the highest positions. Can you explain to us why? Barnum to up slide and yes, I said that. Réponse effectivement, c'est ce que j'ai dit. I answer this to the investigator so that uh, he or she understands and I also mentioned this to the courts. The Democrat, Democratic Cambodia, they classify people. And they would consider a type of 
people who could be trusted by them. There were laborers, workers, class, petty bourgeoisie, and those who had a connection with the old regimes. I was a monk at that time, and I had some work in the previous regime, so I was not trusted, and I was not assigned a big task to do. On ne pouvait pas me faire confiance et on ne me confiait pas de grandes tâches. J'ai une dernière question, monsieur. Vous I have avez a last question que à la tête de Krang Tanshan, il y avait un dénommé P. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire un petit peu plus sur cette Can personne qui s'appelait P Et est-ce que c'était quelqu'un qui était qui avait un handicap au and niveau des jambes notamment. Was he somebody who was suffering from some kind of disability in his legs? Madame Travail, Pibkajung. Answer yes, that is correct. Uh, he is handicapped. Il est handicapé. Uh, he is handicapped and uh, since he was uh, born and one of his eyes uh, uh, had a problem and he could not see. Il est resté combien de temps à la tête de Krang Tanshan? How long did he remain at the head of Krang Tachan? He was there until the liberation, until the Vietnamese uh, entered uh, the country. And uh, after the after the Vietnamese entered the country, uh, he, there was an order to take him and kill at the base of the mountain. I was uh, away at that time. I was at the rubber plantation. Est-ce que P avait un autre nom? Did P have another name? Answer, no. He has no other name. Yeah, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à ce témoin. Fine, I have no further questions to put to this witness. President, thank you very much, uh, Judge Lavenge. Now I hand over the floor to the Defense Council first. You may now proceed, uh, Defense Council for. Uh, Mr. Nunchia. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. I am Sun Visal. I am the, the Defense Council for Mr. Nunchia. Good morning, Mr. Witness. First, uh, I would like to ask you about your background in relation to the time you enter the revolution. You said you enter the revolution in 1970. Why did you enter the revolution? Answer. There was uh, someone introducing me into the revolution. Question. When you were introduced, or inducted into the revolution. Did you find that uh, the party had a good policy? That's why you entered the revolution? Answer. I did not know well whether the revolution was good or bad. Almost everyone joined the revolution, so uh, I was inspired by the, those people. And uh, I did not know whether the revolution was good or bad. Council, thank you very much. Uh, my second question is, after you enter the revolution, what were you assigned to do? What was your role? Answer, after entering the revolution, I became the... Je suis alors devenu I became the uh, chief of Bong Tuk Khang Bong 
village. And after two years, I became uh, a member of uh, the commune in charge of uh, culture and education. Council, thank you very much. How long uh, were you working as the, a member of the commune? Pendant combien de temps avez-vous travaillé en tant que membre de la commune? Answer. I was part of the commune until 1973, mid-1973, and I left the commune in early 1974. And I was away from the, the commune uh, from 1974 to 1974. Seventy-nine council. Thank you. When you were the commune chief, what were your main duties? Answer. My main duties were to convene meetings of teachers and students, and uh, I was uh, engaged in teaching. When I was in charge of uh, education and culture, I was asked to teach uh, uh, people. And question. When you left your commune, did you uh, set any policies to lead your commune? Answer. The main policies were to increase rice production, to increase uh, livelihood for each and every one. The policy was also to eliminate uh, poverty, and if we had insufficient food, we, uh, our policy was to grow vegetables such as beans, such as rice, etc. Question. Concerning the policies you have just mentioned, were you ordered by the upper echelon to set such policy, or did you decide uh, by yourself to set such policy? Answer, I uh, set up those policies uh, based on the orders of the echelon. Question, so uh, what uh, was the condition under your leadership? Answer. As for livelihood, it was not a worse at that time. There were refugees uh, coming into our commune. Question concerning labor. Question. What kind of work did people in your cooperative or in your commune do? Answer. They were group. There were mobile units for youth and for women. And also there were mobile units for uh, married women. Those are mobile units uh, were tasked to dig canal, build dam, do farming, do farming, and uh, they were tasked uh, to increase and produce agricultural products. They also they were also engaged in making fertilizers. Question. When people under your supervision or Question. under your leadership uh, were sick, so how uh, did you cope with uh, their sickness? Answer. There were clinics, uh, medical. There was uh, a medical clinic clinic at uh, near the one of the pagoda. President, I 
heard uh, that uh, you asked uh, many questions, but uh, your questions appear not to relate to the facts uh, between uh, 1975 to January 1976. So I'm afraid uh, you waste uh, much of your time to ask uh, the question in relation to the facts beyond the temporal jurisdiction of the court. Council, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I would continue putting re related questions to this witness. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I have uh, other questions for you. After you were transferred to Breakduik, how long uh, were you there? Combien de temps y êtes-vous resté? Answer: I was there from 1974 to 1975. Council, thank you very much. What about the period from 1975? Where were you? Answer in late 1975, there was internal conflicts in the commune. In that commune, I was transferred to Samrao to make fertilizers. Question: When you were transferred to Samrao or Jamba? to make fertilizer, what were the conditions of people there? Answer. So the, the food ration in the cooperatives were becoming worse. Question. Upon your arrival at Chamba, what did you do there? What was your assignment? Answer. I was asked to carry, carry dirt from the bottom of uh, the empty pond and to make fertilizer. Question. Why were you transferred Question. from a break duet to a new place? Pourquoi avez-vous été transféré de break duet vers un nouvel endroit? Answer: Réponse. It was uh, the personal reason. Pour des raisons personnelles. Because I was uh, criticized. En effet, l'on me critique. I dare to raise the moral offenses. Osé évoquer des infractions of uh, the new uh, members or new uh, community and uh, the district uh, sided with uh, the new commune chief and uh, after that I was transferred. This was the reason that I was transferred to a new place. Question at some round. How many people were there in your cooperative? Question. Et combien de personnes y avait-il dans votre coopérative? Answer. I was the newcomer. I was there for a short Réponse. period of time. J'étais nouveau. So I did not know how many people were there in the temps. cooperative. Je ne savais pas combien de personnes. I was to make a fertilizer, so I Je could not de uh, de be aware of uh, the donc, information. Je ne pouvais pas avoir accès à cette information. Question. Were there any Question. Vietnamese uh, living in your cooperative? Answer. Réponse. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. I do not know about this. Question. Were there any jam ethnicity in your cooperative? Dans votre cooperative? Interpreter could not hear the answer from the witness. L'interprète n'a pas entendu la réponse du témoin. Question: When uh, 
people wanted to get married, so how Lorsque would marier, how could they do? Answer. Réponse. When I was transferred to some round to make fertilizer, Lorsque I had no idea about the marriage, and I did not mariage. know uh, what the Et arrangement was concerning the marriage. I was at some round for a short while, and I did not see people uh, being married. Council, thank you very much. After you left some round to a rubber plantation, when was that? President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Wait until the microphone is activated. Answer. I uh, went to rubber plantation at Jomkandong in 1977. En 1977, je suis allé à Why were you transferred to uh, rubber plantation Jomkandong? Answer. I mentioned this already in uh, my statement. Dans ma déposition. I, because I uh, was aware of uh, how to treat, how to uh, grow rubber trees. Et je savais comment cultiver For this VA. reason, Et because cela, I I was skillful in uh, growing, in treating a rubber tree. I was transferred to the rubber plantation. Question. When you were at the rubber plantation, were you Question. the uh, manager there or were you working as uh, a laborer? Dans cette plantation, étiez-vous ouvrier ou étiez-vous en charge I was de la direction the, uh, de la Swai Mies. J'étais responsable village. du village de Swai Mies. Council, thank you. La défense, je vous remercie. As a chief of Swai Mies village. Et en tant que responsable du village de Swai Mies. How would you organize uh, the people or working in the rubber plantation? Organisez-vous le travail des ouvriers dans la plantation des VA? Answer. There were specific uh, Réponse. programs during the time that uh, we were working in the uh, rubber plantation. There were techniques how to treat, how to grow uh, rubber trees. So we used our talent and skills in our task. During uh, the meeting, uh, we would train, people would be trained how to do to get uh, more rubbers and how to do with the uh, rubber tree to avoid uh, getting a disease uh, on the trees. And how to avoid, we, we were taught uh, how to avoid uh, a kind of disease at the root of the trees. Question, what about food uh, there? Answer, the, livi the livelihood uh, were better. So for the new unions, uh, we had new unions at that time. There were three times, uh, three meals. There were three meals per day, and after three days, we would have uh, desserts. We would also have pancake and uh, khmai noodle. That is nung ban chok. And as for the blanket that we use to cover ourselves at night, uh, we uh, would be left uh, uh, for others to do the washing. President, 
Certain persons Council, you are instructed to put your question in relation to Krang Tatian Security Center. Krang Tatian Security Center is the facts in our hearing. And if you ask the, the questions which are beyond this fact, that is Krang Tatian Security Center, it is uh, not for the interest of justice. Council. Mr. President, I understand that uh, these questions are beyond the relevant facts, but uh, it can Monsieur reflect, the answer from the witness can reflect uh, as policies of the regime. But I thank you very much, and I will uh, move to another topic. Mr. Witness. During the time that you work, you were working in Demo, Democratic Kampuchea, you said you were one of the leaders. Did you receive any order from your upper echelon to eliminate Cham, Vietnamese, or other ethnicities? Answer through the uh, broadcast, uh, I heard such uh, instruction and order, but uh, for our practice, I never received any order or instruction to do uh, such tasks. But I, I believe there was a broadcasting about uh, how to eliminate uh, ethnicities. Council, I finished my line of questioning. President, you may not proceed to Mr. Kope. Um, good morning, Mr. Witness. I have a follow-up question um, to the question of uh, Judge Lavergne a half hour ago, Mr. Witness. Um, and that is a question about um, the handicap of P. Uh, is it your memory that in fact, his uh, right leg was amputated. Que sa jambe droite a été amputée. But some um, answer. Réponse. As actually, he's not. He is not. He was not really amputated, but. He could not walk very well. Perhaps uh, he had such a disability uh, when, since he was born. Mr. Witness, in, in one of your statements to the OCIJ, um, E3 slash 5522, in answer uh, 44, uh, you said, and I quote, um, this is why P, in 1979 or 1980, was taken away and killed at the site where P had killed others, because P was the person responsible for taking the people away to be killed. Um, and I think, I believe, I also heard you say that he was uh, executed in, uh, at, at the base of the mountain, at the foot of the mountain. Would you be able to tell us how you know that um, P was executed uh, in 1979 or 1980? Answer. I knew about this uh, execution from uh, villagers. Je appris de la des so villagers uh, would say and would talk about uh, the killings of people and disappearance. De personnes et des disparitions de personnes. Um, do you know or have you heard that he was uh, the only person being executed in 1979 or 1980, or was he executed with others?
answer. I heard from others uh, he was uh, killed uh, separately from others. He was killed in a separate place. D'autres personnes et dans un endroit distinct. P was killed at the base P of the mountain, the place that P killed others. Jane was killed at the in the field, open field at the intersection of Gu. And as for as for Anne, he escaped. With uh, other refugees. However, he was spotted uh, by the public because he was a uh, well known of uh, doing uh, bad actions, so he was killed on the spot. Um, what you say is uh, the base of the mountain or the foot of the mountain. Um, If you are standing uh, inside uh, Krang Ta Chan, on the compound of Krang Ta Chan itself, um, and uh, right now you can see a stupa, and behind the stupa you can see a mountain range. Is that the mountain range, range that you are talking about when you speak about the foot of the mountain, or is the foot of the mountain on the other side uh, of the mountains that you can see? But as for the base of the mountain or the foot of the mountain, we could not uh, see the base of the mountain from Kangajan office. It was in the north side of the security center, the place where P was killed. Uh, it was uh, a place at the base of the mountain. To the north. Lui a été exécuté à la base de la montagne au nord. But just to, to make sure I understand, um, when you are standing at Krang Ta Chan uh, mountain, you see a mountain range um, on the west going to the north. The base of the mountain is that on um, the closer side of the mountain, or is it behind uh, the mountain range that you can de see from de cette chaîne de montagne qu'on aperçoit depuis Krangtachan. Answer. Réponse. Actually, there was a name for the base uh, of the mountain de la montagne now it, bec un nom. it has become an open field aujourd'hui we c'est un espace ouvert. no longer we can no longer recognize uh, uh, that base of mountain on ne because it plus uh, has already become a field parce qu'aujourd'hui ce sont des champs uh, it was at the dambreiro mill Mountain base. Au pied de la montagne de Romil. And there were waterfalls uh, Il y avait nearby. Des and, chutes à proximité. and as for the killing place, I did not know uh, that place exactly je or, ne sais or pas where it was uh, located il se exactly. And when you spoke earlier about um, a quiet forest. Vous avez that is what you mean when you're speaking about calme. the foot of the mountain, the quiet forest which is not there now anymore. Is that correct? Quand vous parlez du pied de la montagne, s'agit-il de cette uh, forêt calme qui n'existe plus? Answer. Réponse. No, there were no forces at the base of the mountain. Uh, forests. No, il n'y avait pas de uh, force. You were talking about a quiet forest. La défense. Je parle um, de forêt. Earlier this morning. Vous avez parlé d'une forest. 
calme et non pas de force. Force be on the base of um, the Damray Romel Mountain. Is that correct? De Damray Romel. Answer: I did not state that. Réponse: Je n'ai pas dit cela. Actually, uh, the meeting place uh, that we attended uh, were located in the long, tall trees uh, forest. Était dans une forêt because uh, during that time there arbres. were aerial bombings. À that is why we uh, received uh, instructions donc, to. Find a proper place, de quiet place, des calmes, to convene our meeting, and the meeting place uh, were in the le lieu de la forest, uh, which consisted of uh, tall trees. De grands arbres. Mr. Witness, would you Question. be able to tell us at that time how long the walk was between Krangtachan and the place that you believe was an execution site at the foot of the mountain. How long did it take uh, on foot de la to arrive there? Réponse. Answer. I could not give my estimates. Il m'est difficile de donner une estimation du nombre de minutes ou d'heures. I could not say how long we spent. Uh, from uh, that center que cela to uh, the uh, aller de ce mountain range or to the mountain. La montagne. One last question uh, on this topic, uh, Mr. President. Question, uh, would Président. you agree with me that, that the distance between Krang Tachan and the entre foot of Krang the mountain range on the de la east de side de would be about five est, kilometers? est d'environ 5 km. Si je vous dis cela, êtes-vous d'accord Answer. Réponse. Actually, it's not to the east, it's to the en west. Réalité, ce n'est pas And vers l'est, mais no, bien l'ouest. Et je ne peux pas donner d'estimation. The mountain uh, was uh, uh, used as the uh, border of uh, Province. I, I know the mountain range is on the west, but my question was um, how far is it to the east of the mountain range which is lying on the west? Uh, how many kilometers? Would that be five kilometers? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps it was oui. about uh, the distance you just described. Peut-être uh, est-ce bien cette distance-là? Bah, bon. Le président. Preston. Merci. Thank you, Council. Maître. It is now convenient time for Le lunch break. The court is adjourned from now until 1.30 p.m. Court officer, please uh, find a proper place. Veuillez for this vous witness occuper du témoin during lunch la break and journée. have him return Il l'aura mené dans le prétoire, counsel, ainsi que son avocat, pour la reprise des débats before à 13h30. PM. Security personnel were instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kirsten to the waiting Monsieur room downstairs Kiosampon and have him return in the afternoon before 1.30. The court is now adjourned. Suspension de l'audience.